Every now and then I'm break. It's needed from all these greetings and meetings. I'm thankful that I can be in, but I need a break. Cause this life can be suffocating. Traveling different locations, trying to get this money made. And I believe in that I need it. These evils, even to deceive in my seat is any to exceed Yo, what's going on? This is Current Climate. My name is Christian Dane. Shaw, say something. <laughs> Shaw's sleeping. Shaw gotta go to work in about three hours. Jew, say something. Hello. That was very unclimactic. Hello, people. <gasps> Hello, world. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Tiger Woods. Hello, world. Tiger Woods. Yeah, that's that. That was like the first big thing that he didn't say. Like, how y'all niggas don't know nothing about the Tiger Woods? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That just sound like brainy from. That's, what I, that's what I thought you were doing. I th- oh well, I, that's my Tiger Woods impersonation. That was. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> That's one of the worst impersonations. I've never heard that before. That is literally one of the worst. I things thought you were doing Brady from Hey Arnold. Oh, oh, hello world. Is that better? I don't think it makes sense. Either wow. Way. I could care less who it's supposed to be. <laughs> it sounds weird. That's that's how it sounded. Look it up. Tiger Woods, hello world. <laughs> Just look that up. A lot of anyway. big things going on right now in the NBA. You know, association. Is it? Yes. What do you want to start with? We can start with preseason games. We can start with the moves that are going on. Let's Ain't talk, been no preseason games. Lon- Let's talk about the summer league games, Lonzo. Okay, what do you guys think? That was so formal the way you just said that. Oh, uh, was it? What I'm do, not. What I'm, do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet. I mean, the first game, what he went one for eleven. Yeah. In the summer, no, league. It, no, it wasn't no one for. It 11. was two for fifteen. It was like two for. <laughs> and <laughs> Sorry, and we got to take into account. These are summer league games. How was he? How, what was he averaging in college? Fourteen, six, and something, something like that. Okay. Ah, I don't know. Lonzo is a gifted. The one look. The one thing I do know is this: you can't teach gifted. Now he is a gifted passer and playmaker, and that right there is an upgrade from what we. I'm saying we because I'm a Laker fan. That is a big upgrade from what we've had because D'Angelo Russell was not a playmaker. It, D'Angelo Russell is a scorer. Is he being scores a gifted the ball. passer good enough? To being win? a gifted and passer she, is a good piece. And he makes people better, like the other Ricky that he's playing. But how with. do you think he's gonna hold up in the pro level? In the pro level, I think he's gonna, he gonna be good. The boy six seven. He six, ain't seven no little guy. He he he'll be he'll be able to make open shots. Uh, I don't know if he'll be able to make contested shots with that freaky how's, shot. How, how's his three point game? He got? I mean, he, he shot he shot 40 like forty one percent from the field, from the three point, point line in and college. And he pulled them things deep. Huh. He I mean, he got a deep. terrible uh, form and technique. Terrible little form. I don't know what that is. It's it's one of the worst I've seen. Um, like he shoots from his left shoulder, but he's a right handed. Who who's Lakers shooter. starting five right now? It's up in there. I know it's him, uh, Brandon Ingram. Uh, Julius Randle, uh, the other two guys, I really don't know. It's kind of just up in the air it's right up in now. The, air the, the one thing the about it is the Lakers have maybe got maybe Larry a, Nance Jr. I I don't know. The Lakers have got a, a a good young coach. The Lakers are getting accumulating good young talent. You've got the playmaker and a and a and a gifted point guard in the NBA is about as valuable. Well, I won't say as valuable as a quarterback. Close. But, it's it's the closest but, thing you got in basketball. Uh, I close. guess it used to be the most val the most valuable used to be a big man a center. Well, okay, uh, it depends but, on the system. Let's but say it's like not that. that anymore. It depends on the system. Yeah, it's it's it depends on the system. Because I mean, you can have value from three or four different positions on a basketball court now. Uh, you, I mean, the the shooter, the best shooter on your team can be the most valuable player on your team now. And I remember when that used to be the third or fourth option on your team is the, yeah. is the guy who's the best shooter. But now. Nowadays, the best shooter can be the actual star of the team, i.e. Golden State, you know. So um, that's true. I don't know. uh, But being a gifted playmaker is a huge part of the game now. LeBron brought that. Of course. Yeah. Being a gifted playmaker is a big look at Russell. Yeah. uh, Look at James Harden. Uh, These guys are, are gifted playmakers. Lonzo is going to be a gifted playmaker. And you see he bounced back with a triple double. Yes. Even though it's 11, 11, 11, I mean, I, that's something. It's that's still along the line yeah, that I think he can do. Double. I think maybe he maybe he averaged like maybe 13 points, eight boards, 
Uh, That's big. They said what Lonzo <laughs> came into the arena singing was, last night I took an L, but tonight I bound back. Hey. Wake up in the morning by the night. Did I he really? Stack. No, I just made that up. Oh, I'm about to say, I was like, that's, that's pretty dope. Yeah, but I like it. I, I, I I like Lonzo Ball. I think he'll be a good player. I'm happy for the Lakers. What about... Um, Lonzo Ball going to be the most valuable player out of this draft. I, I'm happy for the Lakers. What? The Lakers need... you. I, it's so weird watching basketball and the Lakers don't go to the playoffs. Lakers... The NBA needs the Lakers to be it good. It just don't feel right. Lakers and the Celtics and the Knicks. It just don't... Yeah. Like, those teams need to be in the playoffs yep. just because of who they are. Whether or not, it just feels so... It does. It doesn't feel right with the world. What you guys think about this uh, 76ers curse? You see, uh, folks got hurt. Yeah. For some yeah. league. He got carried ankle. off. Yeah. Bro, Last year was Simmons. The year before that was Embiid. I don't know, man. I it's probably a curse on the franchise. Some weird hocus pocus. Little B. Uh, curse. I hope not. I I, like, I want to see the 76ers do something too, just because I like their their core that they have. I don't have. care about the 76ers. <laughs> They'll They're not the... gonna win a champion. I don't care. Nah. So everybody except the Warriors, you shouldn't care about them. No, I, I don't care about the bottom feeders in the NBA. Nobody does. What do you think so far about the Timberwolves? With the Jamal Crawford just now. got Jamal Crawford. Come on. The Timberwolves, I, I'm thinking the Timberwolves can be fifth or sixth in the Western Conference. I think, yeah, they done made some moves. Now. I think the uh, fourth seed. Before before I was just they talking can, about, they can be there. you know, the, they had Carl Anthony Towns, Wiggins, and uh, help me out here. Levine? No. uh Carl Anthony Wood last year? The guy from the Bulls. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Yeah. They had those three. You know, on the previous podcast we was talking about, I didn't. I thought there was maybe be an eight seed. Yes. But since then, they they added Teague and they added Jamal Crawford. I mean, that change, that changes a lot. I'm telling you, they might be fourth or fifth seed. They ain't nothing to be – I'm telling I you, mean, they're making moves. Because, I mean, I, I'm going to go out on a limb here, and, and it's not going out on a limb. <laughs> but uh, Golden State, San Antonio, and Houston will be one, two, and three. And then, um, and I do think Houston and San Antonio will battle for that number two spot. I'm not just going to give it to San Antonio. Um, Houston got too good of players um, for, for just one player in Kawhi to be able to overcome. So I'm not just going to give it to them, but it's a great Popovich team. So I'm like, I give you benefit of the doubt, but of other course. than benefit of the doubt, I, can see I can't really give you number two over over Houston right now. You I'm going to have a good team. I think the Thunder going to be the three seed. And Houston to be the fourth seed. Golly, the Western Conference still. They just stacked, get deeper man. and you deeper. You know what? Deeper. I might have Houston at the five or six seed. I, I wish. You know what I wish the NBA would do? I wish the NBA would eliminate about 50% of the league. And let no, us, you know what they need let to us do? just watch the Western Conference and LeBron. Hold on. You know what they need LeBron to do? Team. How about not have any conferences no more? How about we just seed the teams according to records? You know, but West teams then. This is true, so yeah. that might not be, a good be idea. nothing. But that West. was a bad idea. Nothing but West teams. Well, maybe realign the conferences. Well, what what what, what happened? How here? are you gonna do it though? What East, you mean how? East Coast teams, West Coast teams. How are you gonna realign them? You can't put an East Coast team in the Western Conference. I got a question. Y'all help me out with this. Remember a while back, Chris Paul was trying to go to the Lakers. Yeah, and the, the, and the league vetoed it. Why? What was the rule? Why why wasn't he allowed to go? Yeah, it wasn't a rule. It was people who make rules also can change them when they whenever they get ready to change them. I wonder what the premise was behind that. The Lakers it, were, the Lakers were too much better than everybody. But then why is like but now I'm seeing the same thing. Like these teams are get, becoming more super teams now. Well, well now it's, it's on a trend the players. now. Yeah, it's a trend. It's a and, trend. And but why, I, but why, that why? was a trade, so the NBA stopped it. Now these free agent signings. They and, can't stop the, and ever from, since, the players from going where Ever they since go. LeBron left, and I think that happened the same, it was the same year LeBron left, but uh, since LeBron left and Cleveland got nothing back, everybody uh, like, and when they're in their last year, they'll trade them off so they can get something. Because the reason I'm saying that is because this, it's bad business now for a lot of the East teams. Like, yeah. they're not going to sell out games. A lot of these teams in the East are You know, it's be- like it's like two All-Stars. Like, well, no, I ain't going to say two All-Stars. Two All-NBA players. Yeah. If I'm mistaken, just LeBron in the East. and Kyrie. And, and, if, and what's Kyrie? I mean, saying what's Kyrie? What's Kyrie all NBA player? I can't remember. No, look, I don't think, even think he was up, all, all NBA player. Who who he's in front of? Russell, Steph. He had the point guard position. Yeah. But yeah. in the East, I mean, who? Uh, you go to Atlanta Hawks game. Who are you going to see in the Atlanta Hawks game? Nobody cares about the Atlanta Hawks. That's that's what exactly. I was just saying like, about. It nobody the cares NBA about at that. The end of the day. I, I think they need to cut out fifty percent of the league. <laughs> I think they they shouldn't allow teams. Nobody to go. cares about the 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 
the bottom what? From, I, I get, from the number four spot on down in the Eastern Conference, nobody cares. I seen you really spot. don't no, really care about the number two spot in the Eastern Conference. I agree. On down. Who cares? But they still, I mean, I, that's ridiculous to say, just eliminate them. I mean, they eliminate still them. teams. They still making revenue. They still have barely. fan bases. Barely. They ain't barely making it. Look up the numbers that they make. The I bet barely. they still. Who cares about the Indiana I get what Pacers. you're saying, but from a business standpoint, why would you eliminate the teams? That's ridiculous. They're not because they're not making the revenue that these other teams are making. Like, of course, because they're not winning. No, because, because <laughs> but they, they still the making revenue. They, they, they still making they the revenue. Stars. Some of these trades should never happen. Like and some of these signings should have never happened. Like I wish like Paul would you watch the do? Indiana what Pacers they, they, versus the Atlanta that's, Hawks. That's exactly what I'm about to say. No, I'm just I saying. But they still, I went and watched they still the have Atlanta. they still have fan bases like watching Detroit and Chicago. But it's not. I'm gonna still watch because I'm a fan of Detroit. Is different. But it's different. No, 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 no. You ain't gonna sit here and say that football different. Football's different. When you you notorious, you've been notorious lately for saying the NBA is bigger than the NFL now. Uh, it's not. Uh, well, look. NFL is king in America. NFL. Oh, so N- you really NFL? Need no, it. my favorite league is the NBA. No, that ain't what you the said. NFL. You said the NBA far more money. You said than the, any other league in America. But you said the NBA has overtaken the NFL. No, I the, asked the question on Facebook one day. You is, said, and you NBA, had arguments. I, I on whether or not the NBA had a chance. To in the future overtake the NFL as the biggest sport. Is it becoming the more popular sport? Because you said it, it has became. The NBA, and no, I, we I argued didn't say about it. it. No, uh, uh-uh, uh, I didn't. And say I it said it NFL became. is is is, and you're like, no, no. it's the NBA. No, it's Steph Curry, no, LeBron no. James. I've I never would, uh, would make an outlandish statement. We don't have to pull up. We like, have to pull up the Facebook post. I would post. never make an outlandish statement like anything you didn't, it, has I mean, overtaken. You the would NFL never make an outlandish gentlemen. statement. Not not one like that. I don't know. I believe you said we're gonna have to pull up the post. No, I never I never said that the NBA was a bigger American sport than the NFL. The NFL is I remember by being far in major king. disagreeing. I, I, degree, I disagree with you majorly about the topic. That's no. how I remember having a conversation about uh-uh, it. Uh-uh. And we might have to pull them posts. We can pull it. We can pull them, but carry on. I remember saying, is the NBA, does it have a chance? Like something like that. Like, does the NBA have a chance to become the more popular sport over time? And the NBA is getting progressively popular. But you know it what? Is. The NBA back to but what But the NFL but, makes all of the money, generates all yeah. of the money. But the NBA players get get bigger contracts which bigger. which I like oh, to yeah, talk about. Do. Uh what do y'all think about the Knicks signing Hardaway? To a four year seventy one million dollars. I don't want to talk about the Knicks. I get what you're saying, like, but th- this was, this what's wrong. Let's this, this go back to what I'm saying. This was wrong with with the East. Yeah. This was wrong with some of the business in the NBA. They signed Tim Hardaway Jr. four year seventy one million dollars. And nobody wants to see the Knicks. The Knicks ain't gonna be on TV once this year. Yeah, but what y'all got That's to remember is that the sign. NBA cap has has. Oh, went up. I get the NBA has this money yeah. to spend. No, no, we're saying it's we, not hurting get, them. No, now. no, 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 it's fine. It doesn't hurt them. But that's to get a this bad money contract. No, that's, still. We're it's a bad contract. Because now it's like what we're saying. Nobody wants to see these East team plays. No. The first, what, did, what was the first thing you just said when he said Tim Hardaway's name? Nobody wants to talk about the Knicks. No, no. That was the first thing you say. Exactly. And I just was talking and about just, the contract as far as like the business moves that they make. You said this. Everybody else is the same thing. The East is horrible. Who the fuck wants to see the Knicks play? And I'm a Knicks fan. Only, only, only people in new york spike lee yeah. is the only person in the stadium Nobody but they still selling out the garden because it's but but, but it's, but it's the mecca it's, but the it's mecca. nothing it's nothing compared to like golden state where a couple years ago when they had monte ellison and steph curry yeah they were doing good yeah they saw games but nothing like how they are now now they're like just, because they're winning no matter of course where they're they gonna go. be there when you win it exactly it's like ban bandwagon unless you oakland fan base you need, they, they there no ban, matter what you need bandwagon fans New huh? York ain't gonna get no bandwagon fans. Nobody's jumping on the bandwagon of New York Knicks anytime soon. If they start bad. winning, They've I don't been, know. I see if, bandwagon fans if every they start year. winning. But All true. these Golden State bandwagon it's fans. It's true. But and let me tell sick. y'all something. When they fall off, I got screenshots to all y'all oh, yeah. niggas that's yeah. band, band, uh that's riding with them right All now. All these bandwagon All these, and Golden and State fans. Don't be claiming Lakers when they come back yeah. because we're gonna call y'all niggas out. We're gonna call out. you out. Because the only reason that I root. <laughs> But I don't ever root for Cleveland. I like LeBron. I like for LeBron to prove his haters wrong because I think he is the most hated on athlete of all time for absolutely no reason at all. 
It makes no sense that he's got as many haters as he's got. And I always want to see him prove them wrong. Uh, so I'm in LeBron's corner, but that's the only reason I ever root for anybody other than the Lakers. I'll always be a Laker fan. But all these Golden State fans who don't remember when Steven Jackson and uh, Baron and, Davis and Baron Davis and them boys beat Ooh. Dallas in the first round that yeah. year because they now, was number eight and Dallas yeah. was number one, but they had, Dallas had a bad matchup with Golden State and yeah. Golden State beat them. Whatever Golden State fan that's out there and don't remember that year, which yeah. hadn't been that that long ago, if you don't remember that, stop saying Dub Nation. You, yeah, and then mo- most people are like, well, I've been I've been a uh, I've been a Golden State fan since '09 since they since they drafted Steph. Hold on, none of y'all niggas knew Steph was gonna be like. Yeah. Nobody. So don't, don't even, even say that. Don't, don't even come even to me like and that. say no, that. Nobody. He was that. good at Davidson. I yeah. thought he was just gonna be a good good shooter. Nobody come off the that. bench, you know, be a good shooter. Maybe he'll get you 12, 13 a game, not thirty. Golden State fans weren't Golden State fans. No. Uh, they were Kobe niggas, fans. Y'all yeah, niggas they, was yeah. Lakers fans. They were yeah. Kobe. Yeah, well, they were I ain't gonna even say y'all Lakers fans. I don't even know how they stayed afloat. Yeah. Who, who went and watched them play? Nobody over, was watching over, Golden over State. Over the Nobody. In that era. Nobody was Nobody. watching Golden State. Yeah. So y'all the need to cut hurting, out. man. Yeah. The East, they either need to get some, some stars, need to go over to the East. I bet something needs to happen. Ain't going to be no East games on TV this year unless the Cavs are playing somebody. It ain't nothing exciting. It's a foregone conclusion that Cleveland is going. And, and, and I'll tell you the truth. Um, as big a fan as I am of the, the players – taking control of their own careers and being able to go play where they please because I don't think there's anything wrong with players getting to choose where they go play That's and right. whenever they get uh, whenever they go play. Don't bring me no loyalty crap because nobody screams loyalty when the billionaire and millionaire trade owners trade them and they got to pick up their families and move and 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 mm-hmm. stuff like that and they trade them around like a piece of meat or a slave. <laughs> so don't don't bring me loyalty. I hate when people no say, thing "Oh, in- he's not loyal because no he traded thing teams." Loyalty in business. What you mean, man? If somebody come and offer you a job right now making two dollars more than you making now you yeah. up and leave tomorrow so don't bring me loyalty when it comes to the players getting their way people only but, say that with lebron that's uh, the only time well, you hear they that. say it, they say it with kevin durant too and look i do think that kevin durant moved to golden state was weak but i you, no problem with these guys leaving and going no. and playing where they want to play no problem with that no nah, not at all though i did forget my initial point what was that um uh, well i forgot it <laughs> uh, I was saying something on the lines of uh you know that that and so there we go. The East needs help though. The East is bad. Nobody wants to watch the East games. Everything's in the West. Dude, like you say, you you missed out. You missed the Lakers missing the playoffs. You know, because it, it makes the NBA more grandiose in a sense. Yeah. What about the? What a we word. need that grandiose. Uh, I looked it up. That was uh, good. The Knicks. That was good. We need the Knicks in the playoffs. We need them back to prominence. I, I just hate seeing the Knicks. I ass. care less. I need I them to be great. I always hated the, the Knicks. But that's, that's right now. That's how everybody feels, though. Knicks. That's how everybody feels. But it you sucks. need. I, I think we kind of. I need the Knicks. And I, need, I don't think we need the Knicks. I need the I mean, Knicks and I need the Bulls in the playoffs. Look how popular the NBA has gotten without the Knicks. Who cares? But They've never won a big, championship. Number one market. They won like one with Phil look, Jackson way yeah, back but a long it's time. Still, it, I get what you're saying. Even that. Okay. But we need the Lakers because the Lakers won at one like 16. You need Boston championships. You need Boston. Boston's a big yeah, basketball yeah, town. Yeah. You know I mean, there's, there's certain basketball towns that you just it needs to come back. New York. New you York. You know what I'm saying? It it's is the number one basketball place. towns that New York, New York. Yeah, where my truth is at, where my hustlers, where my boosters at. I don't care what you do for stacks. All right. I know the world's glued you back to the wall. You got a broad, do that. All right, all right. I've been through that, been shot at, shoot back. Got to keep the peace like a boot ass. I ain't a new jack. Okay. Nobody going to West this guy's still going. me. How do y'all feel about uh, Boston getting Gordon Hayward? That I breathe Jedi Knight. I like. Space, I get the bet I right. <laughs> I like the move, <laughs> but I think they got to give up a lot. To to if they if they could have kept the Hold team on, and t- Gordon Hayward, oh okay. if they could have kept the team together with all the pieces from last year, maybe they can push Cleveland to five. But I mean, they had to get rid of my boy Avery Bradley. That was uh, huge. You know what? You know what the Gordon Hayward trade did for Boston? Who won the trade? It was a sign. A uh, sign with Boston. You know what that that done? What? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> say again, no. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. I, mean, I agree. Nothing. They are no closer to beating Cleveland I agree. than they were last year. They gave up too much. Do, do, do you think even if they hadn't given up anything, Gordon Hayward doesn't put you over that. that uh, he's not a top twenty NBA player. 
Yeah, no, not the, in the top twenty. Do you maybe think, top twenty five? Do you think Cleveland will still be that good again? Do you think they kind of as long as they got LeBron James? I get what you're saying, but how they yeah. finished when they when the year ended? But it didn't matter. Um, they meant to not finish well. The black they hole. They didn't care. The black hole weapon they that games. they got in Kyrie. They lost games down the stretch. They looked. But I'm talking about in the playoffs. In the playoffs, they, got it, together. Playoffs. they got it together. They got it together. It wasn't even competition. They yeah. lost that game to Boston, and and. and <laughs> And they probably threw that. I'm, yeah, I'm I think thinking. We, I, I, I personally think we're seeing the end of Cleveland. I think it's oh, getting no. close to not, not as long as LeBron healthy and playing. That, that's fine. It's going to be another year. LeBron going to be a little older. Uh, he's a little tired. I'm, I'm thinking it's the end. The only way it, the end is coming near for Cleveland is if LeBron leaves in, in, in I think, after next year. I think, I think, I think. Let me look. Let me see how the team unfold, but I think Boston might get him in the Insta Conference Finals. When? This year. Oh, please. I think they oh, might please. get him. Go on somewhere with that. I think they might get him. LeBron James is the most valuable player in the history of the NBA. The history? The history, the history of the NBA. He's the most valuable. The, LeBron like should have you know won MVP seven years straight. You know what LeBron is? LeBron is the NBA's versions of of pay Manning. He's probably the most talented of all time. He's a very valuable piece. He means a lot to his team. He get all the credit when they win, but when he lose, he don't deserve all the blame though. But you don't I, think get he you, don't? I get that you got to take it because if you're going to take And he all don't the win credit. in the playoffs like say uh, MJ slash Tom Brady. That, but it's never been a fair competition. I meant comparison. And that's unfair because when he win with less, he's the greatest. It's, he deserves he deserves all the credit. The wins, but when he loses, when he loses, it's like, well, LeBron don't have enough. That's the truth because he always plays better teams with better coaches in the finals. It's just the fact. Western Conference, what we've been talking about the whole time. Western Conference teams are a lot better than Eastern Conference teams. But don't the greats even find, a LeBron? Let, no. The no. greats don't find a way. When did Michael Jordan ever have to beat a better team than him in the than his team? The in greats the don't find a way. When did Michael Jordan three, ever? What when did he, Michael is, what Jordan is he, three and five? Yeah. When did Michael Jordan ever have to beat a better team in the finals than he had? When? Name one team that he played in the finals that were better than the Bulls. Even a Kobe Kobe team too? Kobe never beat a team that was better than him in the in the uh, finals. Kobe a, a lost ma- the teams he shouldn't a, have lost a, a, to. A magic, Kobe hold on, hold on. my a favorite ma- player. A Magic team, a Tim Duncan team. What about them? Did they play teams that was better than them in the finals? So when? basically, all I hear, when, when Elvis, all no, I hear is you no, taking up for LeBron no, no, because no, no, everybody no. who I name, yeah, they had a better team. But when it comes to LeBron, he didn't have the better oh, okay, team. Okay, okay. Uh, San Antonio is one of the best, just probably, maybe the best team since about '99 overall in the NBA because they won five championships and been the six. Who have they played as an Eastern Conference uh, team that was better than them? But you had like LeBron, the only one who's been. That didn't have a better team. He, he uh, he's. I not. mean, let's go to the twenty eleven Dallas Kobe Mavericks. Beat? Kobe beat who the who had the better team? When? Dallas or Miami? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know that Miami had the better players. They didn't have the better coach. They, they didn't have LeBron the more, James. They didn't have Dwayne Wade it don't matter, and Chris Bosh. It don't Bosch. matter about that. Co- coaching is so underrated in the Dallas NBA. had Dirk Nowinski, a old Jason. K- they had one. Oh, a team that's been together for uh, a while, one, knocking on the door one, for a while. One all star, superstar that, that that it was his time to win. One superstar great coaching staff against three Rick superstars. Rick Carlisle, great coaching staff. You're making excuses. That you won't. No you won't. Excuses. You won't just say. Me. You, you won't just no, say Miami the no, better was the no, better team because they weren't the better team. How that was the first year they were together. That was the first year they were together. That ain't no excuse. You not telling me. Why what I'm saying ain't making sense? All you falling they back They had on the better is them excuses. You they not, had the better players. No, they, they had, had the, the better, better team. Players. How many they, times? They Kobe were stunned on them niggas. Kobe and Shaq had the better team. Had the better players. When we played Detroit, they bust all behind. Okay. It's about a, a lot of times when you get in final series, seven game series, it's about coaching. Larry guess, Brown coached that my team. Point, Without Larry Brown, my point Detroit is, don't beat us in My 0-4. point is, LeBron James had the better team, so he's not always outmatched in the finals. Like he is. Said. 
What team has he played in the Western Conference that was that wasn't better than his team? Dallas. San, One time, San Antonio. Out of eight, get out of here. They beat them. They what? They beat them on a Ray Allen God sent shot. Because if it ain't for that shot, they losing six games that year. If we go down the line, that's the better team. We go down the line. It. We can go down the line and go player for player. All right. All Let right. this ride, we man. Go, we going. We we we, we going. We good. can go down the line and go player for player. And on paper, it's just equal. No, San Antonio would the San Antonio historically. Is the is the better team? It it wasn't even a competition. It's still as far as better team. And don't don't even give me coach. I don't know why I people give, overlook I coaching coach, so so bad in seven on, games. But on paper, on paper, if we going down the line, it, on paper, no, now 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 we're you making we, it too black and white. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're not even talking it, about the game. The game. You talking about paper? On paper, you ain't talking about the game. Team wise, Talk record about wise. The game. Nobody would call. They was calling these niggas the Heatles. Nobody would call Miami, the Miami better than San Antonio. They beat them, bruh. You you the better them. team they when beat you beat them. On, them. They beat them on a last second Ray they Allen beat shot. Them. Game seven, they were see you just going black and white. That's oh. all. All you saying is two things. You making excuses. They beat them. You ain't so talking to me, about nothing in between. Out of seven game series, do the best team always win? Out of seven games. The majority of the time, the best team wins in the seven games. So that means they were their better team that year. That it is, was a game that after that. The, you realize that if it ain't for the greatest clutch shot in the history of the NBA, Miami loses that series he in hit six it. games. You know what? He hit it, but you know what? He, he hit the hold shot. On. That hit don't the mean shot. they got the better hold team. Hold on. He hit the shot, but you know what? It was one more game after that. And you know what happened to Miami last year? They lost by a record-setting margin to that same San Antonio team. And they was the better team out, the next that year. They set out to prove that they should have won the year before. They was the but better Ray team. Allen hit the best all-time They shot. was the better team the next Miami year. Miami wasn't the better team when they beat San Antonio that first time. They beat them. It was seven games. Juicy. That don't matter. In the NBA, the, out of seven games, Detroit the better team. better than that Kobe they was a better. Team. They was a better but team. They, but that year, they, they was won. a better team. They wasn't no better team. They had team. Kobe and Shaq. They had a better team. Well, that's one contra- of the best. No, that's one of the best. Contradiction what, that's contradicting one of, what you've been saying. You've been saying on paper, on paper. Well, if you going on paper, Gary Payton, Carl Malone. Hold on, hold on, we can go down there. We can go down there. At that time, at that time, at that time, we can go player for player if you want to. If if that's what you want to do, we can go. But but the the main thing that we're talking about is when LeBron gets to the finals, he's either undermanned. He's under, not on paper, under he's not under man because that's unfair. Because when no, he wins, not. when he wins, he's he's making everybody better. Because he's that, but awesome. look, that's just the way it's got to be. Because the truth is the truth. When he played Golden State, was he not down Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love? I will give you that. When he played San Antonio that first year, was he not outmanned, outclassed, out talent, and out? Fi- I will give you them two finals. That's Other two than that. of them right there. And it's, that changed the it, whole I, discussion. It's, it's six more. Then you then you play San Antonio. I I will give you that the two losses. I will give you that the two losses that LeBron should take the blame for is the it is the San Antonio loss in 2014, and then the Dallas loss. I will give you that. Other than that. The two the, the loss this year, he don't deserve blame for that because he averaged a triple double and it's nothing else he could have done to want to beat to Man, beat the Warriors won. this year. No, they could not he have won, won this this year. He had a triple double, averaged a triple double, nothing else he could have done. He don't get blamed for that. He shouldn't get blamed for the first one in 07 when they lost to San Antonio. And he shouldn't get blamed for the Golden State when that's three. I give him three out of three out of five. So I mean, hold you, on, hold on. How, he been, he, how many times has he been to the final? Eight? Eight been eight times. I give him three out of eight. So three a of pass them. pass on three Okay, well, eight. he done won three of them, Juicy. And if you're going to give him three of them that wasn't his fault, you only talking about two losses. If You know how many? Larry Bird got three losses. Magic Johnson got more than two losses. Kobe Bryant got two losses. Shaquille O'Neal that's, got that's two fine. losses. That's Tim fine, Duncan got a loss. They just lost. It ain't no excuses. They just lost. What you mean it ain't no excuses? You, you make just, an excuse. My you point just is, said that point. on three of them, you wouldn't give him the blame. They still excuses. What you mean? I'm saying they still excuses. You see, you lose when, when them When them guys lost you that you name, when them guys lost that you they just take the L. They lost. LeBron take the L. But you got excuses for LeBron. It ain't no excuses. Because it is it excuses. It ain't no excuses for Kobe it and them is. losing to the Pistons. 
It ain't no excuses. LeBron them should have lost that 2011 finals. I mean, I think it's an excuse. I think they got out coached. I mean, I really do. I think they got out coached. But you can't on one hand say that, oh, it ain't no excuses. And then on the other hand say, okay, well, I don't blame him for three of them. What him. are you talking about? I, I would give don't him, say I, nothing I, about I could, excuses I then. could give him a pass if you want to say for, for So he won earth. three. He been to eight. He won three. And then he lost five. And then he won three. And you're going to excuse him for three more of them. That means he would you supposed to have six then. I can excuse him for two. He was young no. to the first one. And then I would excuse him for when he didn't have Kyrie and Kevin Love. He get excused for I three. I wouldn't excuse him for this year. Juicy. You know good and well ain't no way I mean, Cle- if he, if Cleveland he could have beat Golden State. I don't know. Ain't no talking about no great. When I'm, did Michael Jordan ever beat a team? I'm not talking had, about Michael Jordan. I'm talking what, about no, get to the finals that's and the, losing, that's the and, and not taking credit, not taking the blame that, for that, it. That's a lazy argument, and and if you're gonna be that lazy, you don't deserve to have a conversation. Oh, if you're gonna be that lazy, that's a lazy black and white argument. Oh. you ain't talking about none of the variables. All I'm saying is he deserved. It ain't Some all... of the blame when he lose. It's not not on LeBron. But when he win, he's okay, the greatest well player out, of all time. Okay, well, point out somewhere that he should be blamed then. Point out a, a, a part in his game that he should be blamed for, for his losses. Winning. Uh, see, that's stupid. How that's stupid? That, but, that's what it's about at the end you of the going, day. No, you going, you going black and white, and you ain't explaining no details. That's being it's a lazy, all about winning. That's at the a end lazy of the day. debate, and you don't deserve it's to be not in the a lazy conversation. Debate. Three and five. You can't anybody argue can with that. sit back and say a, a, a casual fan or somebody that ain't even a fan can sit back and look at a stat sheet and say he won, he lost, he's the better player, he's a better player. He don't. Uh, anybody can do that. But if you ain't gonna discuss the variables and the details in between, you don't deserve to be in the conversation. If what all you, you gonna do is say he won, he lost. Okay. My little nephew can do that. On paper. On paper. No. We can go player for player. You didn't lost. We can go player for player. You didn't lost. It ain't about lost or win. Oh, yeah. You like LeBron. No, like you just said. Yeah. You just said it. Like you LeBron. Done, you have Lo- lost. Lost like LeBron. No, you have lost. Like Mr. LeBron. Man. No. He's three and he's three and five. You can't argue you against you that. Ju- you, you excuse just like him Peyton three Manning. of them. Just he like won Pe- two. three. He two. won three. No, you excused three. Two. The only reason you took one back is because it was killing your argument. That two. You're saying, I, I, I excuse him for two. No, no, you don't get to do He's that. He's still now. losing at you the end of the day. You excuse him for three of them. He's still losing. So that's saying that's saying right there. You can't say that. Do Kobe get a pass for, for losing against the, o, the 08 uh, Celtics? Did Kobe get a pass for losing to the uh I, I the, the always Lakers, gave Kobe a pass for that 08 because he didn't have he Andrew a, Bottom not, the, he don't the majority get a pass. of the time. He don't get a pass. He gotta that, get it done. No, that's a, no, no. He gotta get it no. done. Because that's Do same, Tim Duncan don't I don't get a pass understand. for not beating every I don't get Tim what Duncan you, was old. That ain't on Tim Duncan. Do they Tim get Duncan a pass? Do that team get a pass? Tim Duncan was old. It ain't on Tim. So that LeBron on Tim. every time LeBron lose, he get a pass. No, LeBron get a pass. You giving him passes. No. Juicy, what you saying ain't made. You have made no sense in one debate. You said to tonight. you, I don't get all what you, you saying. All you doing is saying he don't get a pass, but you giving him a pass for three of them. That don't pass. make no sense. He, two. No he hell, he done been to no, so many and lost no, to so many. I keep I'm losing. You count. gave him three passes. He got two. You How took, you gonna tell me what I what I'm relaying? Uh, he gets two. Everybody, he anybody gets, that's listening to this podcast, gets, knows okay, anybody that listening. You said, he get three passes. I'm telling you now. Three of them I'm telling you started now. Started killing he, your debate. He gets two passes. No. You can't tell me what I can and can't but do. But I can tell you what you say. Oh, and I'm telling you now, he gets two no, passes. You don't get the flip flop because two, it's destroying he your argument. He gets two passes. I mean, I'm, your, I'm, you was killing he your gets own two, argument, he so gets, you took one off. He and gets said, two passes. Okay, so he gets two. No, you gave him three. He gets two passes. You bro. know, three made sense. He gets two passes. No, I'm giving him two. No. On paper, we can go on paper for this year's final. You don't deserve to be in. And this you don't kind tell of me what I deserve and don't deserve. Uh-uh, you don't to deserve, get deserve to be in this conversation you, because you ain't giving no debate. You, how you gonna say just because it ain't your narrative? No, you ain't giving no debate. It's just because it's not your narrative. No, no, you not. You ain't saying nothing. It, you ain't he saying won. nothing. He won. Tell me why. You he tell won. me why he, he get lost. a pass. Tell me he why. won. You he lost. Are you saying? Ain't no you saying debate. the same thing? Tell me why he gets I'm a pass. Get, I'm breaking down. You ain't saying why he nothing. Don't get passed. Why he don't get a pass? You ain't saying nothing. I done told you the whole debate. You ain't saying I'm nothing but you, the same thing. I'm giving you plenty of reasons why he lost. Why he get a pass? You're not telling me why he doesn't you ain't get a pass. One, you ain't gave one reason. Juicy, you delusional. He still had 
three of the top five players on his team and the Miami teams. Juicy, do you really think that Cleveland could have beat Golden State this year? Great player or not? Because I, I personally don't know what else the man could do other than average a triple-double and average 30 points and, and double-digit assists and double-digit rebounds. If, if now, you explain to me, since you're so good, you explain to me what else LeBron could have done to have won this finals against Golden State. The great ones find a way. No, I don't want that. That's a boring debate. Tell me what else he could have did. Tell me where it was his fault that they lost. Tell me where's fault and when, when his fault. Game, what was that? Game, game two, <laughs> game no three, that winding down the stretch, he didn't close that. You talking about when the one was time up? he passed the ball to one of the statistically one of the greatest three point shooters of all time? Who? who? Kyle Corver, that he was brought there to make big threes and he had a wild he didn't close the, the deal. And he didn't hit it. He didn't if close, he hits uh, that shot, it, okay, it's a hold brilliant on, pass. If you, if that great, go, that hold on, hold on. Argument. The, great, the great ones, do they close that? If that was Kobe Bryant winding down, if that was Michael Jordan winding down, you do, know they, how many, do you know how many times Kobe Bryant then lost games down the stretch? In the finals. You do know that right, he lost I know. Down in the, the finals, that in that won. moment. I'm talking about the finals. How many in Kobe fin- Bryant moments has he had in the finals? In the finals. Don't going down the stretch. Fuck all that. Do you think Kobe Bryant would have lost that game? Has Kobe hit a buzzer beater in the finals? Because he's been in a lot of close games. He won has five he, of them. I'm just saying. He a, has he hit a buzzer beater in the finals? Has it been down? Has he had to? Uh, Yeah, he lost two. Has he hit a buzzer beater in the finals? He, he, has he closed out every game? He didn't clo- he didn't closed out a lot of them. He ain't closed out more than he lost. How he were he five and two in the finals? Juicy. He ain't hit. Kobe Bryant is one of the all-time worst statistically. Now you know, man, you Kobe fans. So in our minds, all we think about is the clutch shots that Kobe hit. But do you have I, no, any it ain't idea? About, it ain't about just. It missed? ain't about just clutch shots. I'm talking about down the stretch when everything on the line. Sometimes I would like to see LeBron um, closing just, the deal, just just completely take over the but. It's time for us to stop expecting that out of LeBron because that's not the kind of player he is. And I did look. So he's I not will, a close. I will. I will give you this. He's not a close. Well, statistically, he's one of the best closers of all time. But but all we go on as sports fans and our delusional thinking, all we go on is whether or not he hit a walk off shot or not. That's the only thing we judge closing by. But when you score eight points in the fourth quarter or average seven or eight points in the fourth quarter, you are a closer. You are That's a closer, thing. and you win more down the stretch than you don't. I agree with but you. But LeBron don't hit walk off threes, not necessarily like what? Michael and Kobe. So it ain't necessarily got to be sudden, a walk off three. To me, it's closing the game. Last two or three minutes, he might disappear on you. He might get I, your buckets I, them first, them first ten minutes. I won't completely but when disagree. But when it, when, with, when it get close, them cheese get tight. If he if he would close better, I get what you're saying. If he would close better. He might have more championships. You know what? No, no, I don't believe that though. But 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 I I do I do say this though. I don't. LeBron is not a confident free throw shooter, and I and and LeBron's bread and butter is what attacking the basket. The more he attacks the basket at the end of the game, the more he gonna have to go to the free throw line at the end of the game and make clutch free throws. And he's not comfortable doing that. And I will admit that I don't think he's comfortable shooting free throws. How the fuck we get on? I don't know. We gotta wrap it up though. I don't know. This is current climate. Christian ain't said nothing in at least two hours. Christian has this on Instagram Live, and we were on Twitter Live too. (laughs) My name. You should have got my good side. You don't have a good side. You're ugly on both. My name is Christian Dane. That ain't right. Shard say something. Uh. I won this. Juicy, say so. I guess I lost like LeBron. This that was the final jab at LeBron. That wasn't right. Y'all have a good night. I'm on two buck shit without the nose ring. I'm on hoodie shit. Fuck with these folks, thanks. If Jake can make it from Marcy, then I'm gonna hide a couple bricks under my car seat. Ah, tell my mama I was never sorry. Tell her that they got me going 60 and a 40. Ah, catch me, nigga. Screaming, catch me, nigga. I'm too fast. Don't test me, nigga. Came from the bottom, single mother never used food stamps. I man, product of my environment. I'm tired, man. Put the metal to my little nigga's chest. No Tony Stark, but I keep that iron, man. Breathe, nigga. Breathe. The last thing he hears is the sound of a gun ring. What America don't give a fuck is the death of another young king.